Hi everyone, so 2024 is coming to an end and I want to make this video to say Happy New Year in advance to everyone. This year was pretty interesting and I believe I went to at least one new conference every month of this year, which was quite a lot, but I met a lot of amazing people. Obviously a lot of discussion around AI, a lot of AI tools that came out. And uh, I personally found a lot of tools make their way into my day-to-day -day life as well. I'm sure many of you must have also and it's an interesting time that we are living in i think the age of ai is here and uh, we had a lot of discussions around you know uh, where where this is headed and um, the role of ai in the future what people are really excited about i'll quickly share top five tools that i have been using and the uh, tools that i'm really looking forward to you know growing um, in the ecosystem next year but mainly i want to say thanks a lot for all the support for this year Exciting things happening at SIVO and uh, new role, been busy. Um, I like being busy, so hopefully 2025 is you know, also as fruitful as 2024 was for everyone. And um, you know, since AI was such a big part of the discussion, I would love to learn more about what tools you are using that I should check out, what companies and startups you are really excited about. Feel free to share those in the replies below. I would love to check that out. and. Uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, so the first tool that I found using quite a lot, almost every day, is the WAP AI terminal. So traditional terminals, you write commands, you get some errors, you get some installation errors or whatnot. Um, if you're using Vim or any other any other uh, tool um, in your traditional terminals, now imagine that on steroids. Imagine AI integrated into your terminal. So for example, you don't know what command to run. You can ask in natural language, I want to do this, which command should I run? And the terminal is gonna do that for you. This is a great example. The reason I'm listing warp is a great example of how AI tools are gonna to be acting as a companion and not as a replacement for developers. And uh, if you get an error, you can just ask, how do I fix this error? How do I accomplish this task? And uh, in traditional terminals, if you're writing some commands multiple times, you know, we set aliases. They also have like aliases on steroids and you can also create these workflows or the alias alternatives, whatever you want to call it. Share it with your teammates as well using what drive, uh, the warp drive. And you can just ask simple, simple questions or more complex question, how to run Kubernetes locally. So it's going to tell you you know, uh, the steps uh, around how to install. Obviously it's giving the Minikube uh, example and uh, create a kind cluster, Minikube start, kube cuttle installation and everything. So this has been amazing, um, using it for free. As you can see, just to show you for the demo purpose, so you can get started for free as well. And by the way, all the tools I'm mentioning, I'll leave the links in the description. And don't forget to share your, share your favorite tools as well, but yeah. Warp is pretty cool. All right, the next tool I want to share about is Relax AI. You may have used ChatGPT, for example, and I love ChatGPT. I used it quite a lot, um, but recently I've been starting to use Relax AI because uh, there's a lot of concern, a growing concern around data sovereignty, data privacy, your data being used for training, uh, you know, various models and things like that. I met a lot of customers who showcased, uh, you know, these worries, and a lot of people are also now working on running these. Uh, large models in their own isolated environments. So a lot of things are happening around data privacy and, you know, um, data sovereignty. Relax AI, you know, it has data privacy built in. Your data, you know, you have complete control over the privacy of your data and uh, we never train um, your data without any express uh, consent, as they mention over here. And um, you also have the latest uh, advanced AI models like uh, Llama 3.1. And uh, yeah, pretty affordable pricing at just uh, 10 quid per user per month. And uh, yeah, I wanna show you in action what it can do. So you can see that conversational dialogue, advanced reasoning, sentiment analysis, code generation, a lot of things are coming as well. So I can ask something like, um, I don't know, give me a recipe for Pav bhaji, something like that. So it's a popular dish from Mumbai. 
it's giving me recipe for that not a problem cool I can start a new chat um, I can say something like um, I don't know what are some common Kubernetes misconfigurations that's a misspelling that I have done but you can see just uh, understood so insecure API server RBAC misconfiguration so on and so forth all right so yeah I think it's pretty cool if you really prioritize uh, data privacy and uh, highly recommend checking it out all right the next tool I want to share about that I use quite a lot is pieces for developers by the way pieces relax AI all the tools I'm going to mention in the future they are not paying me to say this or endorse them I'm purely sharing about my experience uh, this year and I'm really looking forward to these tools like how they evolve in 2025 so you should check that out as well and also let me know the tools that you are using um, pieces so imagine you're working in a github repository or a project and you you did like a few issues you merged a few pull requests you were working on some features you got stuck somewhere and uh, now you want to remember what you were getting stuck on last week what is the update of this pull request or this issue what to do in the future the roadmap and stuff collaborate with people refactor your code and all these other things pieces for developers is like a co-pilot for your own uh, like so, sort of like you can have it for your own projects what I mean by that is you can set a context like this github repository then you can ask pieces it's going to be context aware for your github repository and then you can ask pieces what is the latest pull request update where was I getting stuck last last week last month what to do now I'm stuck in this um, you know bug help me resolve it so it has a purely local context for your github repositories and it does the processing locally as well where needed so they have built uh, they have done a lot of stuff around uh, data privacy and you can have multiple LLMs um, all while processing data lo locally and having maximum control if you take a look at some of the features you can see that um, the dashboard is pretty centralized and um, here you can see the live list view uh, this is essentially the uh, code editor as well you can have co-pilot chats you can do online um, web search as well you can even take screenshot of a code sample and feed it to pieces and it's going to extract extract information from there in the uh, context uh, they're also sharing um, like sometimes you know imagine you're asking questions to your co-pilot but then the next elevation would be you're not even asking questions it's just giving you the information that it feels like you may need so I think that's the next iteration and uh, I think it's pretty pretty cool um yeah offline first as well pretty instant and uh, as i mentioned you can extract code from screenshots i do that quite a lot um you can learn more about the use case for software engineers and uh, engineering leaders um, but yeah i use it mainly a lot for for debugging purposes um because my like i can't seem to remember stuff so i think it's nice to have a tool that does that for you all right the next tool i want to mention uh, is github copilot obviously a lot of people use github copilot i was at github universe this year and i saw the stats um, that were announced during the keynote but yeah pretty cool tool um, all my open source projects are hosted on github uh, the link is public you can check it out my courses are hosted on github all the collaboration and all the uh, community projects are hosted on github um, so our team uh, actively uses github and the github actions and all the other features that the platform has to offer and I love GitHub Copilot uh, also because um, the recent announcements that I was really looking forward to it now has multi-file editing multi-line editing which I feel like is really good and I've been using that quite a lot um, we also get like as a GitHub star access before the features are released to the, released to the public so very fortunate for that and uh, also yeah some other nitty-gritty things that they have uh, upgraded like uh, it can now update your java packages for example i teach java so that's coming in handy but yeah overall i think um, yeah copilot's pretty cool and uh, highly recommend checking it out all right lastly this is a little bit of a different uh, area it's a uh, code cloud ai now i have been really passionate about education and one of the areas i was really interested in was um, ai in education so imagine having AI professors you get a doubt 
you're using let's say an online course platform you have a doubt you just ask the ai like i've been giving this problem i don't understand what is this xyz the nitty gritty details for example i think code cloud has done that so they have their ai assistant built in their own uh, platform uh, code cloud is a online learning platform uh, for cloud native and devops uh, they have cloud native and devops courses and when you're working on their labs they have an ai assistant that can help you so you can ask for mentorship guidance as well like what do you what do i learn next how does this thing work it's going to explain to you in nitty gritty details and uh, it has you know as it says personalized learning tailored to you so i think um, yeah um this is something i'm really looking forward to how it evolves next year so is the future of education is here i'm i was just very excited about ai in education and uh, i'm always looking forward to uh, educational companies startups who are doing some good work in this space so yeah that was essentially about it all right so those were my thoughts and uh, i'm really excited for 2025 how these tools evolve and more tools come in the market let me know what you think um the tools that i should check out if you're a founder ceo cto or you're just working at a nice company um that you're passionate about let me know in the comments below i would be happy to check it out um always on the lookout for nice projects and people doing amazing work and uh, yeah happy new year in advance once again i will see you next year